Have you ever had a Sudoku strategy completely blow your mind? After you see it, do you wish you could remember how it was done so you could use it on other puzzles? I will show you a Sudoku strategy with one of the world's top setters that's so amazing it will blow your mind. Click below if you want to give this puzzle a go. And with that, it's solving time. Where can a one go in block two? Because of these two ones and this one, there's only two possibilities for a one. So I'm going to mark that using Snyder notation. Anytime in a three by three block, you have two possibilities for a candidate. You mark it. In case we solve one of these, we can solve the other right away. We can get to this amazing strategy by identifying all the restrictions in this puzzle. Where else can we mark some ones? Look in block nine. You have a one right here and a one right there. Only two possibilities for a one in block nine. So I'll make the Snyder marks right there. And then the twos, let's look in block nine again. You have a two here and a two here. Only two possibilities for a two. And so they're also a pointing pair, which means since the twos are restricted in block nine to column seven, a two can't be anywhere else outside of the column. Because you put a two here or here, you'd have no place to put a two in block nine. Greetings, friend. Each Friday in May, I am bringing you a featured selection from the Sudoku Cult Gospel. Sam Kappelman Lines, Jovial, Philip Newman, and Shy for the world's top setters created the Sudoku Cult Gospel to teach you new and wonderful Sudoku strategies. Shy is great at making new and creative solve paths in her puzzles that will blow your mind. Thank you, Shy, for this wonderful puzzle. Let's look in block eight. What can go in this cell right there? Can't be a one, can't be a two, can't be a three, can't be a five, six, seven, eight, or a nine. So this is a naked single four. This is gonna help us out as we find all the restrictions in this puzzle. Because now with this four and these two fours, we have nine or fours in block two. And then in block six, with these two fours, nine fours right there. And now with that four we found, plus this four, and the four in block one, nine fours right there. Now look at the sixes. You can actually solve for a six in block seven, because you have two sixes here. You have two sixes there. Whenever you have four of the same and it looking into a block, you know you can solve it. There's only going to be one place remaining. And now we've created some restriction across here. And so you see you have a 1, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8. We need a 2, 5, and 9. You might notice you have a 9 in the column 3, a 9 in column 7. So the only place to put a 9 along that row is right there, which is going to give us a 2, 5 naked pair. And this should raise your alarm bells. You see some bye-bye cells, BVCs as I call them. You know you're on the path to find some advanced strategies. Let's look where the sevens can be up here in block three. You got these two sevens. Two possibilities for a seven right there. Then the eights, we can actually solve for an eight now because we've made this nine and four. You have these two eights plus this eight. Only place for an eight in block eight is right there. And then with this eight and this eight, you'll have two possibilities for an eight in block three. This is actually very critical. Uh, when Other than just being Snyder marks, Thing keep in mind is that when you have two possibilities for candidate in a block, house, or row, they're also considered a conjugate pair. And what that means is if one of these is true, uh, then the other is false. But if this is false, the other has to be true. So they have a relationship with each other. That's going to come into play a little bit later. So here's a bonus tip for you. Where can the nines go down here in block nine? This nine covers all three of these cells. So the nines are forced into these two cells in block nine. Whenever you see Snyder on top of each other, like you see here, the ones and nines, you have found yourself a hidden pair. What that means is the one and nine have to be in two cells in block nine. They're restricted to the same two cells, so nothing else can be there. And so what this creates for us is a two, three, five, naked triple. And I'll highlight that. And because you have a two right here, it removes a two from that spot. And so... You have two possibilities for two there, and you have two possibilities for three there. I'll make those marks. And then it restricts what can be in the rest of this block. You're actually going to create a lot of BVCs. Because now we have a one, two, three, five, and a nine. We need a four, six, seven, eight. We have a four and a six here. 
that's going to be a 7, 8. 4 and an 8 here, that's going to be a 6 or 7. Uh, 7, 6 right here, so that's going to be a 4, 8. And you have, would be a 4, 6, 8 right there. Created quite a bit of BVCs, and it's one of the most restricted parts of this puzzle. Now let's do a little bit more uh, Snyder marks. You got the 5s are in one of these spots. With this 5, there's only two places for a 5 now in block six and then with this five only two places for a five now in block eight with this three only two places for a three in block eight and then two places for a three here in block nine and so you get to the point where there's really nothing else we can put in here we put all the snare marks we can up to this point in the puzzle and so you either want to look for single can strategies when you get stuck like this or you want to look for buy value sells. Let's look at the single can strategies first. I want to show you a bonus strategy here that's pretty cool to find. All right, where can the sixes go in this puzzle? You can see there being these three spots, these three spots, these three spots, and these three spots. Okay, and I'll highlight that in blue. You may notice in column six that the sixes can only be in two spots, right? So it's a conjugate pair. Either that's a six or that has to be a six. Notice in column seven, the six can only be in two spots as well. Either this is a six or that's a six. Notice how in six row columns six and seven, they share the same base. And so I'll highlight that. And then the tips of these two conjugate pairs are in the same three by three band you call it you can also call it a belt but in different rows and whenever you have that situation you know that either this is going to be a six if that's not a six this cell would have to be a six this couldn't be a six and that'd be a six up there so what we know is a six has to be in one of these two yellow cells because of the relationship you have down here and so any cell that sees both these yellows you can eliminate a six this is called Sudoku Skyscraper. You see how this is the base and these are the tips. We can eliminate a six from these two cells right there. All right, and what it, that creates is now Snyder sixes in block three and Snyder sixes in block two. And you'll notice on top of the Snyder four, so you have a four six hidden pair. And now with this two and this four six, you actually have Snyder twos right there so we created a little bit of restriction here we didn't solve any cells but i wanted to point out that advanced strategy maybe you saw it when you're doing your solving okay so it creates one more restriction with these nines now we have snyder nines in block two and so that's as far as we can get now with all the, the Snyder marks and in find this bonus strategy. So now we need to turn to the BVCs. It's much more interesting. And this is the intended solve path that Shy had. We want to fill out the rest of the possible buy value cells. Now I'll do it a little bit quicker. That can only be an eight or nine. This can only be a five or a nine. This cell right here can actually only be a one or a seven. This cell can only be a three or a nine you have the four eight right there this can be a one or a two you have the two fives there this can only be a three or a seven and this can only be a five or a seven so we have identified all the buy value cells in this puzzle you might notice there's something interesting going on here with these corners okay you have an eight nine right there and you have a one nine right there Something you need to know, remember, uh, these cells are, are kind of connected with this eight. I was showing you these eights before, right? So this eight sees this cell, and this eight sees that cell. Well, this, this cell does not contain a one or a nine, so there's not much you can do there. And so what you need to notice is where can a nine be here in column nine? Well, a nine can be right there can't be here because of this nine, it can be right there. So we actually have a conjugate pair of nines right there. Then you have a conjugate pair of eights right there. And then with this eight right there, you actually have a conjugate pair of eights right there. I'm gonna kind of highlight that. And so what you end up with is kind of a virtual X, Y wing. This is so cool the way Shai did this. 
all right? Because here's the deal. You know, either this cell is a nine. If that's not a nine, the only other place to put a nine would be in this cell. If this is a nine, that makes that an eight. And then this cell would have to be a nine. So either this cell is a nine or this cell is a nine. And so any cell that sees both of those, you can eliminate a nine. So we can eliminate a nine from this cell right here. It works like an X, Y wing, except the pivot is now this entire lock. This is so cool. It's actually a form of an alternate inference chain. You want to learn more about those? Check it out in this tutorial. But what we can do with that now is we can eliminate a nine from right here. We can never have a nine in that spot. And so what did you find in this point in the puzzle? Please, please drop in the comments for me and the other viewers. I'm trying to grow the best Sudoku community on YouTube. I value your comments so much, I respond to each and every one of them. And I'd love to hear from you. This cool strategy, which just blew my mind once I saw this in the puzzle, now allows us to solve this cell for a five. And now we want to follow the Snyder. Because of this five, that has to be a two. That has to be a five. Displacing that Snyder two. Displacing that Snyder three. Which displaces this three and five. Because we have a three and a five right here. So we know this actually has to be your seven now. That's going to be your five. And that's going to be your three. So we're going to continue following the Snyder and see what that does for us in this puzzle. But these two threes, the threes are now limited to these two spots in block two. So this is threes company, I call it. You might notice the threes and nines are limited to these two spots in column two. But now you have this additional two there. And so we can bump that because this is a hidden pair three nine, like I told you earlier. So that cannot be a two. So we know this cell now has to be a two. And once we know that's a two, you have a three nine here. You have a four six here. This has to be a one seven. And so it's a 1, 7 naked pair. And with this 1, 7 naked pair, a 7 can't be anywhere else along row 2. So this can't be a 7 anymore. That's got to be an 8. Displacing that Snyder 7, displacing this Snyder 6. And now we're going to create ourselves a 3, 9 naked pair right there. And because we have an 8 here, we have the 1, 7 here. This now has to be your 9. Allow us to solve for the 3 and the 9 right there. And then we can come across... We see we have a full house. We can actually solve for a three right here. Awesome. Now what can we do? Let's look here. We have a two, seven, eight missing in block one. We'll have a two and eight right there. This has to be your seven. And so we're going to create some restrictions coming down this column. But you may also notice because of this seven and these two sevens, you can put a seven right there, displacing that Snyder four. And so we're just going to keep on creating restrictions down here. We have a 1, 9 remaining in block 7 here because of this 9. That's got to be the 1. That's got to be a 9. That's got to be a 1. That's got to be a 9. Because of this one, now we know this has to be a 2. We're going to clean up those BVCs. All right. And now we only have two cells remaining in column 3. We need a 3 and we need a 5. I got a 3 right there. So here's your 3 and there's your 5. What do we need right here? It looks like a 2 and an 8. I'll mark that. And we're going to continue to make some more solves here. Because now what we can do is we can look at this 9 and go, we can disambiguate this 3, 9 right there. And then with this 3 and this 3, we can solve for a 3 in block 6. And the only thing left, we have a full house here, is an 8. So we can solve for the 8 there, displacing, solving this for a 4, solving this cell for a 6. And then what we have left, I got my 5 right there, so I know that's got to be a 5. And this is going to be a 1. And with these two 5s and this 5, do a little cross-hatching, solve this cell for a 5, which now puts more restriction here in rows 4 and 6. What am I missing here? It looks like I missed a 4 and a 6. I got a 6 right here. That's got to be a 4. That's got to be your 6. Displacing and disambiguating the 4, 6 in row 3 now. Awesome. And now what can we do? Well, we have a full house right here. I don't see a 2 in column 5. So that's got to be your 2. With these 2s, one place for 2 and block 4 is right there. So there's your 2. Here's your 8. Here's your 2. All right. I don't see a 1. So I'm going to drag it down, pull it down from block 1 to put right here in block 4. Full house in block 4. The only thing make is an 8. So I can put that right there. This one, I can put a one right here, disambiguating the seven one up there. Super handy for us. I don't see a seven down here. So I kind of focus on the cells I just saw 
And then I look if one of those can be in the next block. A seven can't, it can be in this cell right here. And then my last digit is a four. Check out this video if you want to see another amazing strategy by Shy. Thank you so much for watching.